Good evening, friends. Thank you for joining Candid Mina every evening to follow what's happening in India and abroad. Thank you for sending me useful comments and suggestions. If you believe in this channel, do hit the like button, share with friends, and spread the message. Our only mission is to bring you the truth at both sides of the story. Thank you for your support. Today we have Gaurav Pradhan with us after a long break. Welcome, yes, uh, Gaurav Ji. Jai Hind. Aap sabko Jai Shri Ram. Kafi samay ke baad. Yes. And uh, I think people miss you, so they keep uh, pestering me. When is he coming? When is he coming? So I've also been pestering you. <laughs> no problem, ma'am. Whenever the time is there, I'm always ready to talk. There is no issues with that. It's yeah. just that yeah. my work keeps me busy and travel a lot. So that's the uh, only issue. Yeah, which is a good sign because, see, uh, despite uh, COVID being on, you know, uh, you're pretty busy. And that, that's a very good sign. Yeah, I mean, because of COVID, two years we were locked in home and I stopped all my workshops and all. Now uh, people are requesting me to travel. I was there in Goa for about six, seven days. We had a nice function on 15th of August. We did a flag hosting as well as five hours non-stop question and answer. Uh, and people came from Bangalore, Pune, Mumbai, all Chennai even. Uh, to Goa, so it was wonderful. Great, and also, did you, did you get a chance to go to Silly Souls? Well, Silly Soul was <laughs> uh, closed. I planned to do, but Silly Soul <laughs> was closed okay. uh, because uh, two days of that travel was my personal issue. I mean, I was traveling with my wife, mm -hmm. so two days we thought to keep for ourselves. I did yeah. try Silly Soul, but it was closed. Okay. Yeah, great. So let's uh, move on to what you've been, uh, uh, you know, talking about and uh, tweeting, which has actually got everybody's attention, uh, uh, Gauruji. Uh, so that's uh, what we'll uh, talk about is uh, the focus is going back on the uh, SSR case. And you had uh, tweeted something very important, and that was about uh, baby penguin and, uh, you know, being, uh, you know, pulled up in this case. So... Uh, could you tell us what is happening there, uh, Gaurav? Uh, well, ma'am, as I said always, and I maintain the same thing, uh, before you touch the uh, touch the enlightened soul, uh, who, is the, who is supposed to be the king of Mumbai, uh, uh, we need to destroy the ecosystem around it. Uh, never forget uh, these people are surrounded by a huge ecosystem which has been built over the last 60, 70 years. And this ecosystem doesn't even compromise uh, the uh, judiciary, but also the politicians, also the underworld, the film industry, the cricket world, the influential businesses. So we need to destroy the ecosystem and that ecosystem is getting destroyed slowly and slowly. Uh, change doesn't happen overnight. Change happens slowly. Now, I can see a lot of people commenting about SSR justice, they want justice, they want 302, they want all those things. I can understand their emotions, but understand running a government, running a process, a process of governance and justice cannot be done on emotions. So while the emotions are right at their own place, they have their own uh, merit at their own place but at the same time the people who are responsible in the position whether it is governance or the agencies they had to walk a very tight rope they had to walk the rope uh, if you see the uh, change which has happened in the last eight years the working of the agencies the agency do a lot of homework these days and before touching anyone they do a lot of homework so that uh, the case that they build up is foolproof. It doesn't have corners to be cut in court or the, and you have witnessed that even in Mumbai, some of the very, very powerful people who were, who thought they can never be behind the bars and nobody can touch them are actually sitting behind bars for last couple of months. So this is only because the agency's uh, case is such that even court cannot grant them uh, uh, bail and uh, you know free them out of the court 
so things are moving things will move slowly uh, but they are definitely moving so charge sheets are getting ready you uh, you saw reha chakravarti who has been named in the charge sheet uh, jacqueline fernandez is also questioned many times uh, she is on the uh, on on the radar now uh, you have uh, suraj you have uh, other uh, you know uh, the the people who belong to the khan gang who are getting into the net right now slowly and slowly so these things will move because uh, uh, you know as i always say cricket bollywood and media are three uh, such industry which are driven by the people and when the industries are driven by the people you need to be very careful because for those industry their power is people so you you can play a victim card very easily and uh, trust me there are a lot of people in india thousands and millions of people in india who get caught into uh, what the victim card is played around without using their own brain so agencies and the governments need to be very careful they are slowly inching towards the closure but that closure will happen that i can assure you and i am assuring you for the last two years whatever i said about mumbai has been proven till date so just uh, have patience uh, the the people are there on the card uh, uh, shushan singh rajput departure will not go in vain that is for sure right but just picking up two people or three people and putting them behind bar is no uh, no solution this is not going to work because ultimately you need to prove them in the court and if they have Uh, there is loophole where you are not prepared properly within 24 hours they will be walking free and they will get a new lease of life politically which you certainly don't want to uh, give them so have patience things will move yeah but uh, what you tweeted was actually uh, very specific about uh, penguin i'm talking about aditya thakre so could you talk about that because what you've already said is something we know but you said uh, just now we, uh we what is it specifically about aditya thakre that you know is he sick because people were saying that he's not well uh so what is it what is the information that you have about aditya thakre well see aditya as far as aditya is concerned as i said you need to look at the background aditya was uh, was introduced or took into bollywood by smita thakre her his auntie right now aditya to me is a spoiled child he is uh, totally into glamour and totally into uh, all kind of things bollywood is known for so eventually the rope around him will tighten and he is not somebody who can be overlooked and need to be investigated but as i said you need to walk one step at a time what i posted uh, earlier was that uh, simply they are close to the suraj is close to aditya suraj is close to salman Uh, uh and uh, we all know that they they are the they are the gang members i mean you cannot avoid them they are the gang members so uh, it was not very specific to aditya it was only that he is known to suraj and uh, as i said uh, if you look at the background of aditya thakre aditya was introduced or took into bollywood by smita thakre ji i mean his auntie uh so uh, as i always say you take thakre is out of bollywood bollywood is clean you take pawar out of cricket cricket is clean so these things will eventually happen over a period of time so we need to have a patience on, around it yeah but uh, what we have seen uh, recently gaurav uh, we have seen uh, both uh, fadnavis as well as eknath shinde uh, you know posing with uh, film actors one was with shraddha who was caught for drugs you know by uh, samir wankhade and uh, he this uh, other person patnavis was caught with uh, uh, akshay who has been caught you know deeply this thing entrenched in the boycott bollywood uh, you know phase so uh, both of them are aware that boycott is the uh, you know uh, bollywood is the what you call the uh, all in all of corruption yet well, yes well please. I- i agree i agree with you and i also don't like it personally when they are posing with them but at the same time we need to understand we need to di- uh, you know distinguish between two factor very clear carefully first of all that 
a politician is a different kind of a person and the boycott call was not political boycott boycott bollywood yeah. call is not political mm -hmm. boycott bollywood call is by nationalist and people who believe and respect sanatan mm -hmm. our request is only one to bollywood that you have to stop mocking sanatan dharma and you have to stop mocking our armed forces and our nation we are not against bollywood making films and people going to watch film so it was boycott call is not driven by any political motive whatsoever now coming to the po posing devin fanaves and ekna shinde posing with bollywood people i think we need to understand one thing that bollywood is still today drives a lot of youth and youth are is i mean you and me are mature people there are thousands and thousands of people who are pretty mature who who have started waking up and understanding what bollywood is doing for last many years uh, taking our own money and pain and mocking us but there are certain set of youth young kids who don't understand they get fascinated by bollywood so politicians do use bollywood as a channel to propagate their message across uh, to the young segment to the youth to the segment for example narendra modi ji uh, if you if you think he doesn't know and he don't have intelligence then i pity on that but at the same time you will agree that narendra modi ji uh, gave an interview to akshay kumar right while akshay kumar was mocking lot of things but remember that akshay kumar is followed by 45 million people on social media on on twitter itself and uh, facebook and all those medium and he is a role model to youth also now as a politician how do i penetrate that segment of people if i use media then the youth is not interested in listening to media youth is not interested in listening a stand alone speech by modi ji maybe so but they want to see akshay kumar so but we, this was this was before the boycott bollywood movement no no of course this was before the boycott bollywood as i said boycott bollywood is a call given by sanatanis and nationalist mm -hmm. it is not a political call at all uh, i and i would not uh, support any politician jumping into it let it be our fight we want to clean the system and we will clean the system but i don't want politician to enter into boycott bollywood calls so i do agree with you that that time when modi ji took an interview it was not a boycott call mass call but if you remember uh, i had i was the first one in this country who actually tweeted on 29th of december 2016 that bollywood is next and it was me who first gave the boycott bollywood call now and that too on twitter now if you think uh, politician don't read me and uh, especially the pmo doesn't read me and my messages doesn't go to that level then uh, well i can't say anything else but uh, they understand what we are doing they understand what is our motives are and what we want to do what agencies want to do uh, so uh, political motives and political objectives are always different than the personal and the nationalist objectives yeah uh tees talk says this give details of the chart sheet of ssr disha jia case please what you wrote in your telegram channel well i don't have uh, right now there are uh, first of all this lady i respect you ma'am Uh, you come on all the talk shows and ask questions which i uh, literally respect you for but please understand i will give the details when the right time comes i will not answer question just to please you or what you want to listen i will answer question what is right at the right time and the right answer is irrespective of whether you like it or not so please hold on your patience i will share you the details Uh, as soon as i feel that these details need to be shared in public yeah so in the case of so what's happening is one after the other movies are bombing at the box office so it's now dubara's turn dubara is uh, you know by ekta kapoor and it is anurag kashyap's movie for which they had mocked the audience 
uh, through social media saying that uh, even if you do or don't you know we don't uh, care and now it's become actually a uh, flopsy tap uh, you know pannu uh, so everything has flopped and uh, it, you know the box office collection on day one itself uh, is less than rupees 1 crore you know so and on top of that it is a copy of the spanish movie uh, mirage which was made in 2018 so uh, you know it's it's kind of strange that these people think that by mocking uh, you know the audience which is public at large you know they can uh, get their way because you know there were tantrums by arjun kapoor there were tantrums by so many people including amir amir khan and akshay cry crying tears and all that they are not able to penetrate the movement because the people are so strong in their you know uh, decision see uh, what do you hear from arjun what do you hear from uh, uh, anurag and tapsi and all these people is nothing but their frustration and sense of elitism for the last many many years the bollywood have become a elite force kind of where they are considered intellectual dropping their clothes on the screen Uh, showing nudity, uh, double meaning dialogues, you become uh, intellectual, and people have been accepting that as an intellectual. We have been paying money to watch how you mock us. Now people are waking up. I mean, not only that, uh, the names you have taken. If you see the media channels, which they have literally bought over, they have been using the words the gang, troll gang, troll people. Uh, are we troll? I mean, uh, uh, there are thousands and thousands of people who are boycotting, and more a lot of people are very senior in their professional career. I mean, they are very respected people. Uh, uh, I mean, this this includes uh, administrative services, police services, military services. Um, uh, I mean, you can call me troll. Even my career is twenty eight years into. Uh, global performance i mean uh, i am by no uh, no yardstick is a tom dick and harry uh, so uh, what you hear from them is a sense of frustration and sense of elitism that nothing will happen to us that is why i say if uh, for all the people that for the next two years if you can uh, stop bollywood completely irrespective of who is the actor and what the film or the story is you will be the uh, you know if it, uh, you will be at the legend who will clean the bollywood who will help us clean the bollywood and we are not against film we are against good films we are not against sorry bad films i mean how about it you are mocking a uh, uh, mocking a sikh in a in a in an indian military which in, in indian army which has never been a case in the history of indian army why you are putting an insignia of pakistan army when indian army use straight swords why you have to cut the beard of a sikh when indian armed forces have never forced any sikh to cut his hair or beard so what you are trying to show you are trying to show a a, a kind of an anarchy to develop in the military where you start mocking the sick and uh, the hidden agenda is definitely khalistan so as i always say till the last sick is standing in indian armed forces the khalistan is just a dream it cannot be a reality so i think these people are uh, uh, you know jumping on the x uh, they are putting their feet on the x by themselves we don't need to do anything we just need to quietly uh ignore their films completely with family with friends and uh, don't abuse them don't shout of them don't threat them don't give them any threat whatsoever i will never ever support that don't mock them don't use bad words for them nothing of that sort uh, just ignore the films uh, which i always say pet pe laat maro sab seedhe ho jayenge to pet pe laat maro na Uh, and once you start doing it things you you yourself will witness a lot of change coming through yeah so uh, what you said is very true good content uh, means more public will go for it because i just uh, saw a marathi movie called uh, uh, chandramukhi you know and it is a, a story it's a story written by an uh, an unknown author and it was so brilliant uh, it's a story of a notch girl 
you know, you know who does Lavani and is a, a prostitute. But the movie is taken brilliantly, and the dialogues are so crisp that uh, people like us love watching such movies. So it's not uh, language or anything; it is content that makes people uh, go towards a movie. Man, Now, content here, is breaking the barrier of language. Yeah. If you really see the quality of content, is breaking the barrier of language. I mean, you are copying Forrest Gump. You are talking, uh, uh, copying Mission uh, from Spanish. You are uh, copying some other Hollywood film. Whereas, if you see India, if you see all our states, there are thousands and thousands of uh, stories all over, and these are real stories, role models. Uh, kids can learn. People can entertain. They can know about the history. Excellent amount of content is there. But uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, we believe in Hollywood copying, and we are fascinated by Oscar. We, uh, for me, I would say the people are the biggest Oscar. If they can give you a hit, that is the biggest Oscar you can get. But Bollywood is obsessed with Oscar and Hollywood. Uh, so the downfall is there, and the downfall will continue for some more time before. Uh, the bottom is reached, and uh, somebody take a plunge to uh, start a new. I mean, if you see the actors which have come from NSD, they are they are very seasoned people. Uh, Rajpal Yadav, K K Menon, uh, Tripathi, they are very nice uh, people. They are very nice actor, very mature, very humble. They are not arrogant. But these star kids, they are born with uh, star kids uh, do. All kind of stupid. But here uh, also, Gaurav, there is a problem because these actors that you mentioned will not get roles unless they suck up to the cabal and no, they tell I, us I, that they are not getting yeah, roles. I completely agree that they are not getting roles. They are sucked up by cabals. They have to do casting couch, all kind of things. They have to do drugs also. They have to do partying also. uh they have to drop their clothes also there are a lot of things which happen in bollywood the ugly factor of bollywood that is completely true but i am telling you that in another let's say in another 5 year time the things will change because a lot of young directors young low budget directors but brilliant directors and story writers they are looking forward to up film city which is coming up in noida and this is exactly why the up film city is coming up in noida because the cost of production of film would be uh, almost like uh, 70% less than the bollywood uh, the cost of your equipment the cost of your actor i mean i uh, i am part of a, a film making uh, unit uh, not directly involved but uh, my buddies are there and i know that thing a lady gives an interview a uh, uh, casting interview in uh, noida and she charges for 3 lakhs for a episode whereas when uh, when the same person met her in mumbai her cost was 15 lakhs so that cost factor also makes a lot of things so you know when we talk about that people are not getting roles they are getting rejected the young directors or uh kind of people are not getting opportunity to work in bollywood this is because of the cabal this is because of the khan the chopras the johars cabal which need to be broken and that breaking point will come with up film city now um, many people asking you about ikta kapoor you remember when uh, uh, porn kundra uh, was caught with uh, sleaze movies uh, she is also a, a contender with him because she also makes movies like uh, gandhi bath and all that but she was never caught and even now you see dobara and many other movies and uh, things that uh, events that she had, uh, she's doing a lot of them are deshdrohi activities and still this woman is never caught what is happening here ma'am i can only say this uh, at this moment uh, without uh, talking too much that uh, number to sabka aayega theek hai have patience number sabka aayega हर चीज की एक लिमिट होती है उसके बाहर वो एक्सपोज हो जाता है एकता कपूर का भी नंबर आएगा बट जस्ट होल्ड ऑन राइट जस्ट होल्ड ऑन योर हॉर्सेस डिस्पाइट द फैक्ट दैट शी हैज पॉलिटिकल कनेक्शंस या व्हाट एवर इट इज आई एम नॉट गोइंग इनटू दैट पॉलिटिकल कनेक्शन एनीबॉडी कैन हैव दिस गवर्नमेंट डजंट लिसन टू पॉलिटिकल कनेक्शंस या 
Okay. So now moving on to the uh, the next uh, topic. Uh, you know the actor, South Indian actor Vijay Deva Devarakonda. Uh, you know he says that. See, I don't know what they want because of the Bollywood movement. And he had the gall uh, to put his feet up when he was speaking to a journalist and uh, showing absolute disrespect. Uh, while his on his side was this uh, youngster Ananya Pandey, who was another uh, person who was caught for the drug for drugs. Now. Uh, Apparently, they are being groomed. He is being groomed by Karan, jo Karan Johar in uh, Bollywood. Now, Karan Johar has absolutely no respect for anybody. Whatever he says is four-lettered words. And whenever he's talking, he's only talking about sex. So when a, 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 a director or a producer of this kind gets a good actor, I'm, I'm not uh, watching for his uh, character, but a good actor like Vijay, look at the way he has changed him. Within a few uh, months, he has made him another Akshay, you know, wannabe in character. Ma'am, money drives many things. This is the greed for the money. I would request people one very important thing, you know, just give a thought about it. That uh, we say we will not watch Amir Khan film or Shah Rukh Khan film or Salman Khan film. We also need to see the name of the producer and directors. Because the director, the producer and the cast... These are the three most important people which influence the audience. The cameraman, the screenplay and the other things doesn't matter much because they are not that in public. But uh, these people, so anything which is produced by Karan Jor should be, uh, should be uh, the theater should be go empty. That is very simple. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Ned says, when you say Kabal, is it still controlled from across the border or is there a kingpin in Mumbai? itself controlling the show it is still controlled from across the border but you always have kingpins in uh, cities like mumbai and delhi who control on their behalf uh, that is the system it works but uh, it is still being controlled from overseas yeah okay now karina kapoor says that uh, the indian railways made a lot of money because of her role in jab we met and uh, she is the reason for that. So in which case, uh, the fact that she's giving birth to kids one after the other will also lead to more population? Well, I would rather, I actually commented yesterday that, uh, you know, when I saw this screenshot about uh, her making comment on railway, I said, uh, because of Chameli, the red light revenue increased. <laughs> I mean, these people should not be answered. Yeah. I mean, they don't deserve to be answered for yeah. stupidity. Yeah, absolutely. Now here, uh, there's a big uh, thing happening in Delhi with the BJP uh, saying that uh, Kejriwal and Manish Sodia are the most corrupt leaders. Now, this is something we've already seen. And also the fact that, see, we watched them systematically destroy Delhi. And uh, as everybody says, they keep a very good face. They talk very good language. They give mainstream media ads when required, you know, and uh, shut their mouths, you know. So in, in a very clever manner, they try to control everything. And here now they are caught in a most uh, sleazy situation. And we all know they have sex, sex scandals also in their midst. And, uh, and now this has happened in Punjab also. How do you see the situation, uh, Gauravji? <coughs> well, ma'am, the if you understand political parties, it takes anywhere between two to three assembly elections uh, before the political party come on a stage on a solid ground to, uh, to fight a serious election and make, uh, make it to the governance level. Arvind Kejriwal came into politics out of a bubble. The bubble was anti-corruption and it was a driven emotion. So it was never to be permanent. Now in a hurry to, and this gentleman is always in a hurry. Now in a hurry to achieve that, he inducted every Tom, Dick and Harry in his party. While on the other side, he was claiming to be very honest. So all the crooks who were not getting anywhere uh, in other, be it Congress or BJP, or any other party, they got uh, in, into the Ahmadmi party. Now, Ahmadmi party, the whole culture is built about publicity. They have nothing to show. They have only publicity. So, 
if arvind kejriwal do 0.1% work somewhere he invest 99% money in publicity of that now in today's social media world he doesn't understand that his lies can be busted in no time across the nation but arvind kejriwal is not a problem he is governed by a uh, political cabal uh, i mean if you really see arvind kejriwal has won delhi against congress and he won punjab against congress but wherever he has fought against bhaj bjp uski zamanat jabt ho gayi unke politicians ki zamanat jabt ho gayi so uh, arvind kejriwal is uh, just a bubble i think he is over exposed now we need to stop talking about them uh, regarding the liquor scam uh, if you see it was a complaint by lg uh, lg of delhi and on which uh, uh, for 28 days cbi did its own homework and research work before getting into the house of manish sisodia and while they were there and they did the search the electronic search whether on phone or their laptops or computers they have seized all the equipments and it need to be further investigated but uh, the problem with people there is also some problem with people that we uh, immediately as soon as cbi do a raid we think it is a conviction conviction is something else it is a last stage it is a very long process before that there is a lot of research there is a lot of investigation dots need to be connected new agencies need to be inducted now if you see today cbi is handing over the documents or the paperwork to uh, enforcement directorate to do the investigation investigation against manish sisodia now if ed find any transaction which is cross border Uh, if there is any transaction which is cross border and i am not saying pakistan it could be finland it could be switzerland it could be dubai uh, immediately nia will come into it so uh, the investigation is uh, long and it will take time uh, but as of now they are in a big mess uh, completely uh, on media if you take out media from aam aadmi party um, there, there is no existence of aam aadmi party aam aadmi party existence is only because of media and media because they make money from all this kind of the possible sources including funding by some of the most corrupt businessmen in this country that even includes munjals uh, because if you remember india today group munjal uh, if you see after the fir all the top uh, media houses and journalists are running here and there because their names are going to be figured out uh right now they have named groups but individual people will be named out over a period of time so they are already in soup they are already running those who have taken money uh and the money which he made out of liquor and other uh, you have seen the new york times uh, advertisement and the khilji times admis, uh, advertisement as if the people are fool so <laughs> these things get busted very fast and uh, time will come for them uh who is uh, sonu uh, sisodia uh, tom and jerry is asking you mentioned in your fb post well that is the question i asked you need to answer me who is sonu sisodia but let's that my answer let's park it it will it will come soon <laughs> okay uh, meera is asking why have sonia and rahul gandhi not yet been arrested in national health case any quid pro quo happening because this is the same time when this uh, uh, silly souls was also happening and there was a war of words meena ji as i have said many many times and even before when we started this particular session i need to i i told you that the ecosystem need to be broken with a, and dismantled before you uh, put your hand on senior politicians and senior people i give you an example when rahul gandhi and sonia gandhi went for a 30000 court to get a bail couple of years back in national herald case the delhi was uh, jam 9 km radius from 30000 was completely jam and people came in truck and buses from all over the country nearby states and these were uh, populated by not just by congress people but the upa alliance parties 
whereas the recent protest against ed which you have seen where the family uh, member were wearing black uh, shirts and kurtas uh, there was nobody from up alliance it was only congress people that to only the uh, yes ma'am or yes sir kind of servants they were not you know loyal to the family members uh, there was not one up alliance member in that protest so this is a result this is a indication that the ecosystem is breaking down slowly and slowly once the ecosystem is broken down then you can always arrest a person but before that you will revive a person you will not punish him so uh, let's understand that politics very clearly some uh, a person called brown brown munde is saying sir gilgit pe samosa khane kab ja rahe ho jab aapki marzi ho abhi to hum aloo ubal rahe in the case of shamshera the movie copyright uh, case the delhi high court allows ott release subject to deposit of 1 crore to registry a man named bikramjit singh uh, bhular has approached the court arguing that the movie is significantly based on his literary work kabu na chade khet the delhi high court on thursday allowed the release of the movie uh, on over ott platforms subject to its producer yashraj uh, depositing uh, a sum of 1 crore with the court registry now one thing i don't understand uh, uh, gorov is that see uh, is it so difficult to get original content you know when you have so much of money and you have so many script writers can't you make some script writer sit and write a, a, a script or take a good novel there are so many indian good writers why is it so difficult for them to come up with original content why do they take somebody else and fool them and also try to cut them you know slice them apart that has been the dna of bollywood for ages that is not mm. something happening today it was a easy factor take content from south or take content from hollywood and make your own film then fight the case because as i said they are arrogant they don't understand the value of the person i mean there are thousands of script writers i mean even uh, if you find none you can always take me and i can write a very good fiction trust me Uh, a blockbuster fiction i can write so uh, uh, all the uh, that is what i am saying ma'am that all these johars khans and all they are they are, they have become overgrown they have uh, uh, they have got a lot of support pe- uh, from people and they have overgrown and because of that overgrown they have become so arrogant that the people who make them super star they call them troll and this is the most insulting part how dare you can call us trolls we are bloody more educated more professionally accomplished people in the in india i mean a ninth grade fail a fifth fail lady um, who is just producing kids uh, call us trolls you can't even stand in front of us for mm-hmm. god's sake <laughs> so meanwhile uh, something uh, good that's happening uh, garuji is that uh, see while dis- uh, talking to uh, the parents of uh, uh, children who have been murdered in the bollywood circuit and uh, with the, the involvement of bollywood people uh, both the mothers have uh, expressed uh, through their you know chats to me uh, that uh, there is significantly a change in the judicial uh, reform that's happening because uh, nidhi kokreja who spoke to me a couple of days back uh, live she said that see i was asking her do you see any changes you know in court so she said definitely you know i'm finding that the judge was a lady who was you know listening to my uh, side of the story with more you know what you call a, a kinder heart you know and things are moving at a pace where you know even she uh, they have allowed her to be at all the sessions because she has more information which she can share with the attorney and also in jia khan's case uh, see uh, rabia what she said was that she's also given it in uh, the reports is that see uh, there were a lot of injury marks on uh, uh, jia's body and he was a physical abuser a mental abuser and he is the reason why uh, you know this woman was killed so uh, things are moving uh, gaurav so how can you just uh, can you speak about that as well because we need to give credit to uh, where it's due and the government is changing so there may be uh, things happening there 
मैम वॉट यू जस्ट सेड अबाउट जिया खान एंड द अदर लेडी अबाउट देयर एडमिशन अबाउट द कोर्ट एंड द चेंज दैट इज एग्जैक्टली वॉट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट that there is a change but the process had to be slow the process cannot be that you just go enter somebody's house grab them and put them inside jail that is not going to happen you have to build a full proof case and you yourself admitted talking to the victim's mother and the victim's family that they are they are witnessing a change in court because at the end of the day the court is more important not the police not the not the investigative agencies it is the court which is going to pronounce the judgment it is not the police or the investigative agencies and the court is changing the judges are listening the judges are giving the listening ears and that is a huge change and we should appreciate that the things are moving uh tom and jerry says sir you posted about jia khan on fb can you please shed Now, light on this case tom and jerry Tom and Jerry. First of all, I like this uh, series. My wife like this series, Tom and Jerry. But this is your third or fourth question. Please uh, put your original name, and I will answer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now uh, another question that I wanted to ask you: Why is there so much silence in the case of Parmveer Singh and Vazi? Why are we not hearing anything about them, uh, uh, Gauravji? Ma'am, everything is not for public consumption. Departmental move is not about public consumption. I have only one thing to say, uh, for which people have mocked me a lot when I wrote about Parambir Singh. Where is uh, Nabab Malik today? He is in jail. Where is uh, uh, that other uh, Anil uh, Deshmukh guy? He is in jail. Where is Sachin Vaze? He is in jail. Lot of people are sitting in jail. but where is parambir singh he is sitting at home right so we need to understand that a lot of time uh, you know this is what i teach also the problem understanding the problem definition what do you see as a problem may not be the problem but the root cause is something else so there are things moving but these things are not for public consumption as of now every day uh mumbai police or uh, maharashtra home minister or the central home minister not going to give the press conference or ask me or you how to proceed further they will do at their own pace and the own departmental inquiry after all they are the department people there is a departmental inquiry there is departmental investigation that will move in our pace so have patience i mean uh, everything cannot be updated and certainly i am not the one who will speculate anything uh, unless and until i hear from a confirmed source or my my connections and if i feel that has to be told in public only then i will say in public okay somebody called farmi says please take the question ma'am i heard that in gujarat muslims have captured the illegal illegally in dwarka place in terms of population why gujarat government will not take action now here before you answer uh, gaurav ji See, I've been getting a lot of complaints about Gujarat that there are actually small, small uh, Pakistani, uh, you know, uh, uh, strongholds, and it's slowly becoming, you know, very, very difficult to go penetrate into these areas. Why is the BJP government closing their eyes to such situations? Ma'am, BJP government is not closing its eyes, but as I always say, first of all, the, you understand one thing: after the two thousand two riots. none of the muslim have left godra or gujarat as a whole none of them migrated right they are very much there they are, and they are increasing their population is also increasing over a period of time whatever the pace that may be but uh, to say that they are not watched or they are not monitored i think that is a underestimate uh, to our agencies uh, uh, otherwise also understand every government functioning is different uh and i agree that most of the people would like to see yogi like action in gujarat or maharashtra or other part of the country but every state has different dynamics dim- different demographics different challenges and the handling of those places by the respective chief ministers are totally different uh, you cannot uh, implement up model in assam 
and you cannot say a some uh, cm is better than upcm tomorrow you cannot i mean i ask you a very simple question let's assume tomorrow uh, five years down the line uh, 10 years down the line yogi ji becomes the prime minister of this country do you think he will uh, bring bulldozers from up uh, to his uh, 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 prime minister house he won't because if people doesn't understand that law and order is not in prime minister hand it is a state subject so handling a state and handling center are two different thing gujarat handling and up handling had to be totally different so uh, my intelligence report and my sources on the ground have not raised any flag whatsoever as of today the day they will raise a flag i would would be the first person to write about it because lot of things meena ji are driven by perception they are driven by set mindset uh, things may not be that bad or uh, alarmist uh, the way social media react so i would never never react on what people write on social media i will bank on my reports and my information from my sources and unless and until i receive that there is no point of raising unnecessary red flag moonchild is asking uh, uh, now all of a sudden over yesterday and today suddenly this Bil- bilki bano case is getting blown up internationally your thoughts on that simply uh, you you need to understand these cases are blown up to show the government in a bad phase you know yeah. nothing more than that you can just ignore it this is a job of left cabal the the left liberal they are doing it they are they are trying to topple the modi government or trying to throw challenges as i always say the journey to 2040 2024 is a bloody journey there bilkis bano is one case there would be many other opportunities which are going to come which will uh, which will upset you so you need to keep your mind in place and uh, hold on your patience and calmness and trust your leadership uh, girija deshpande is asking sir central agencies need not give updates they do not come under right to information act then how does the public ensure accountability and that corrupt politicians do not influence them agencies are not subject to be discussed by the public let's be very clear about it when you talk about girija ji when you talk about accountability or accountability is only to the people who are governing like the maharashtra home minister the chief minister the respective other ministers the prime minister the home minister of india they are accountable they have to show agency is not reporting to you so don't even uh, think about it yeah so there's also news that netflix has refused to buy lal singh chadda so do you think that's uh, i mean uh, this is this is what i say the boycott call for bollywood was not political the boycott call was of bollywood was the ordinary audience of bollywood who suddenly woke up now after a lot of efforts of every one of us and they have they are rejecting uh, the mocking of sanatan dharma the insulting of sanatan dharma the disgrace they bring to the nation and our armed force and brave soldiers so people are waking up it is not a political movement at all and i would request people to continue it irrespective of whose film it is who is the actor who is the producer doesn't matter anybody who talk against the nation against sanatan against our armed forces had to be boycotted completely and in full totality svg says did bal thakri save sanjay dat in the case of keeping arms was he too involved with kaka like his son and grandson i mean bal thakre uh, bawala sahab is uh, no more in this world so i i uh, please uh, don't ask me any comment on bala sahab ji um i i treat him with lot of regards and we should rest there sir you had commented on maharashtra situation with penguin trying to be funny should we be careful yes you should be careful careful about what careful about the political move the emotional move these people this family will make there would not be emotion like i said your ecosystem is cut out first of all the pakistan connection the pakistan is right now in a big economic mess they are almost collapsing you have to cut out that 
you have cut out the shiv sainik which were their uh, power so you are left alone you have cut out uh, sharad pawar completely now uh, i mean uh, his 50 year old political style is completely at a back stage now he even he doesn't understand what to do so you are cutting the ecosystem slowly and slowly and when you cut down the ecosystem and they become less powerful and less influential even the judiciary at that point of time thinks twice before making a judgment and taking a call whether they are doing it for nation or they are still uh, being done for to please somebody uh, so things will move and things are moving i am pretty optimistic person on that yeah now the rrr star uh, junior ntr is going to meet amit shah over dinner today and uh, the telugu desham party founder nt ramrao's grandson junior ntr who is an accomplished actor in the field in the telugu field has been invited by bjp leaders for a dinner meeting with amit shah on sunday evening now uh, could you explain what is the significance of this move because amit shah you never see him with any actors or directors or producers it's usually uh, you know narendra modi or some others first of all ma'am i would uh, rather uh, like to update you and your audience that i am not a very um, uh, movie fan i literally hardly track bollywood or other film telugu industry or tamil or other industry uh, whatever there is on a highlight i see it from a political and national security basis that is my forte Uh, when you talk about these people coming up because the south is governed a uh, lot of driven by films as i said i mean if you see the craziness of film in south it is more than the the north right i mean they treat, they are literally treated as god so uh, there are a lot of political changes going to happen in telangana and andhra pradesh and this is a preparation for that uh, chandra babu naidu has already learned his lesson Uh, he was one time prime minister candidate and he learned his lesson uh, so i think the better sense prevail and things are moving in right direction now yeah so there is a very strange question from this person uh, his name is devi nagar i have a simple question how many of you know michelle obama is a woman well i generally don't diagnose uh, women's <laughs> i take it on a face value uh, devi nagar ma'am uh, with due respect uh, i think this question you need to ask ladies rather than me <laughs> i it is not my subject area <laughs> yeah very interesting in fact in fact uh, i don't know what made her say that because we all know that see uh, obama himself uh, you know Uh, leans on both sides that's what we've heard See, on that's a on a political it. on a political side what i can say is obama is preparing michelle obama to run up for a president uh, in 2024 which i have written long time back against uh, republican and uh, most probably donald trump so that could be the equation and pushing uh, michelle Uh, that is the motive of obama right now on a political front that is i can say whether michelle is a woman or a man or something else uh, <laughs> i am sorry i that is not my subject area i don't uh, venture into areas which i am not good at okay somebody has a question about odisha uh, hello sir if you could throw some light on upcoming political situation in odisha will navin ji come to power again no navin ji i think this is the last term because he is quite old now i mean physically also so it is his last term let's see how the things played around bjp is penetrating into odisha slowly and slowly uh, it was off openly because of respect to navin ji uh, but uh, things uh, will change uh, by next election yeah now uh, you know before we wind up the session Uh, Gauravi, I just wanted to ask you one last question. It's a candid question, and uh, try to be as frank as you can about that. Uh, so, uh, in the case of Aryan Khan, you know, and what they found in the Cordelia cruise, so do you think Aryan Khan was guilty? Ma'am, I have. <coughs> you don't need to ask me to be honest. When I sit on any channel and I talk. 
I talk with full honesty to the best of the knowledge I have. I am neither not taking anybody's side. I have said it day one that Aryan Khan is a part of the chain. He is on the consumer side. He is not on the distributor side or supplier side. So there are certain set of questions which Aryan Khan need to answer, which he got, which he was not able to answer while the normal detention. Uh, so you have to use the arrest uh, card and uh, then show him the arrow, the arrogance which the kid has because of his father. Uh, once you got arrested, then you have to open up and uh, the agencies literally got everything from Aryan as to where does he buy the stuff, uh, who are the consumer, how the consumers are connected, how they consume, what quantity they consume. And I don't know. I mean, there would be a hundred other questions NCB may have. Uh, they are the professional. NCB people are professional. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, he is not a supplier. He is a consumer. So as a consumer, and it was me only who said, that Aryan would be uh, out soon and uh, it, his job is over and he should be out. It was me only who wrote that, right? So I know he has a, a disposable uh, information which the agency need for further investigation and connect the chain, connect the dots, which agency has got it. Uh, Aryan Khan is not required now. Uh, I mean, he's not free from the case. He is still a kind of the suspect or accused or whatever word you want to use. And he could be uh, sent a new set of questions or asked to answer as the case developed slowly and slowly. Yeah. So one last but question. From there is, there is, but there is nothing called a guilty word. I would not use the word guilty. Consumption is not uh, guilty. It is bad parenting. Okay. One last question from... Uh... A person called Parul, a man in Hyderabad, Munawar Faruqi for a show was invited and given huge police security. But some Hindus protested, went to jail to stop the show. Your thoughts on how to stop propaganda from idiots? Praful, uh, Hyderabad, you understand KCR, right? Uh, OVC and KCR. Anything which goes against Muslim, they will not tolerate because that is their vote bank. It is ultimately the people who have to change the regime. And uh, then only the things will change because law and order is under uh, Hyderabad police and they can use whatever, you know, uh, prevention, preventive uh, arrest. These are called preventive arrest. So uh, they can, in the name of law and order and maintain law and order, they can go do the preventive arrest, which could be right or wrong. You, you can argue in court, uh, but they have all the right to do that. And uh, these are the people who support people like Munawar, Faruqi and all, uh, at the end of the day, that is their vote bank. Yeah. So that's it for uh, this week. Thank you so much, Gaurav, for answering all our Thank questions. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you And also, much, uh, you know, keeping us engrossed in the session. Yes, so, ma'am. Uh, whenever you want to call me, uh, if my travel permits, I would be more than happy to be on your show. Um, just I request people to keep boycotting Bollywood. Uh, yeah. That is our our mission is not to kill Bollywood. Our mission is to clean Bollywood. Yeah, and absolutely. those people who and those people who say, oh, you know, there are 300 people, 400 people, 2000 people working behind the scenes. What is their livelihood? My argument to them is very simple. If that is the correct argument, then by that standard, every Indian in India should smoke cigarette, should consume gutka should drink alcohol because at the end of the day there are thousands of people who are livelihood are dependent on cigarette industry gutka industry and liquor industry so this is no logic right yeah. so please keep boycotting and please keep the mission up uh, how is the josh hi sir Jain. thank you so much and good night